right, so we're back. And we're back. back. So you're oh. gonna need this. Oh, well, that didn't work. Soon. I'll go over here. Oh, we could turn this. Whatever works. Turn your sponsor right, and you're gonna need a sponsor right. So give everybody a minute to come back on. They usually come back on. I'll take this and this. You're gonna need it also. I'm gonna have to some move some of this stuff over. Oh. So let's jump back in here. There we go. Give it a minute. What do we have? 30 characters total? Yep. Right, cool. Something like that. I don't so know the exact amount. You don't have to write 1 through 30, but it's up to you if you want to. You're going to have to make a list of something for me in a few minutes. Okay. I'll do it as I go because I don't know what I'm doing yet. Give it another minute and then we'll start back up. Game time, fellas. <laughs> A couple people who usually watch haven't been watching lately. It's weird. What are we talking about? I love this one. It's so detailed. I think that's going to be my cosplay. I think it has to be. Soldier? Yeah. When do you plan on cosplaying? I don't know. That's the thing. I feel like it's not easy to do. I would love to go to BlizzCon, but it's, they only do it in San Diego. Uh -huh. It's just kind of annoying. Travel, dude. I know, but Comic Con, at least they do it in the East Coast. Industries. True, yeah. Very fair. Oh, yeah, see, that's a good point. That's where I could do it. Um, Comic Con? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to get started. Um, so we're going to play the game we play a lot called Love It or Hate It. So we started the first part of the episode. We told you guys that we you open the game, and there's multiple things you can pick to do. Um, and one of them was arcade mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name an arcade mode, and Dylan's going to tell you if he loves it or hate it. And then we'll have him explain the ones that he loves, and we'll leave it at that. So are we okay. ready? We're going for 30, though? No, you're not going to write anything this on the next okay. thing is going to be long. The next thing we're going to do is a new game we came up with. It's going to take some time, so we're going to need your input. Um, all right, so love it or hate it, hate it. Most of you guys who play video games will understand what, just by the name of it, it is. Team Deathmatch. Okay. Wait, love it or hate it? Yeah. Love it. Okay. Free for all? Mm, not as much. Uh, okay. Let's love go it. hate it. Yeah, me too. Cool. If it's a 50-50, I'm going to say hate. Low gravity? Hate it. Mystery Heroes? Love it. Good. Co-op? So like co-op with the story modes and everything. They could be better, but I'm going to say love it. I okay. love that they have it in the game. Elimination? Love it. Capture the Flag? Love it. No Limits? Hate it. Me too. Total Mayhem? Hate it. Perfect. Okay, so now... So... Oh, we we split it in half pretty much. Wow, alright. So Team Deathmatch is exactly what it sounds like. Any of you who've ever played any kind of shooter... Know that it's a race to see who gets the more kills. So in this game, it's a race to 30 kills. So it usually goes 4v4, which is mm -hmm. perfect if you're just playing with your friends. So it's cool because they also do it as a competitive mode. Um, so it's a race to kills. You know, the more times you die, the higher chance you have of losing. Free-for-all is you're alone and you play eight other players and your goal is to get to the highest amount of kills, which is 20? 30. It's 30 also? Jeez, okay. Um... Not as much fun, I will definitely agree with hate. I hate the maps they use for it. That's a big part of it for me. Low gravity. I'm kind of shocked you hate it, but I'm not at the same time. Low gravity is exactly what it sounds like. Um, you literally float if you jump. You move a little bit slower. Um, but the game mode itself is like quick play. Mm -hmm. It's like the quick play mode with low gravity. Right, yeah. So, so everything, it's like you're on the moon. Every time right. you jump, you're in the air, which is kind of makes it easier to shoot people if you're on the ground. Right. It depends on your character so. selection a lot. Mystery heroes, exactly what it sounds like. Every time you die, you get you don't select your hero in this. You get a new hero to start as. Um, I love it way too much, I think. Co-op, we kind of mentioned a little bit. Is, um, it's like a story mode, kind of. They try to give you like a background. They don't last long, but they are pretty cool. A lot of them are a lot of fun. Um, you go in with a team with where you can either select your characters, you can make it harder and use the set list of characters, and your goal is to finish the objectives. Elimination, I think, is I think elimination is my favorite. I'm not great with elimination. Yeah, um, yeah it's definitely up there. Um, so basically, if you're going 3v3... Um, well, there's two months. There's 3v3 and 6v6. Right, so the 6v6 is harder. You select a character, and you go against another team of three, and if you die... You're out of the match. Now it's just three on two. Every time you win the round, you have to win three rounds. 
you don't get to select the character you want to round with. So they get knocked off the board. So 6v6, you're eliminating characters really fast because more than half the board gets used if you win. Yeah, it's first to three. So if you win yeah. two rounds, that's 12 characters that you can't pick. Capture the flag exactly as it sounds. Really cool for this game, especially when you're playing your roles as your hero selectors. Um, I don't remember the difference between these. What was No Limits? No Limits means there's no limit on how many heroes you can play. So on the, oh. on the standard, um, so No Limits is like Quick Play. Um, same objectives, same maps and everything. But no, um, in Quick Play, you, only one person can pick a certain character. Uh, we didn't say that when we were talking about like why you would argue with somebody over who you were oh, picking. Sorry, I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, you can only normally you can only have one. No limits means there's no limit to whatever hero. So you can play all of the same hero if you want. Um, so you can have everybody playing. It happens when a new character comes out. That's basically what they do. So everyone can play the new character. Mm -hmm. um, I hate it wasting a spot in the arcade to be honest. Yep. Um, and then total mayhem. I hate total mayhem. Um, total mayhem is. Total mayhem means uh, you get your, I think you have double the amount of health and all of your abilities, I think, or the cooldown is cut in half. Yeah. And your ultimate uh, charges up twice as fast. Yeah, it's crazy. So basically everybody's giving you their strongest abilities like mm -hmm. left and right. and Yeah, it's just like a... It's but a it's, it's total it's mayhem because so you just get yeah, everybody giving you their strongest abilities. It's absolutely insane. Time. Um... So, what's the advantage, and what's, like, the point of playing arcade? Um, I wouldn't say there's an advantage. Arcade is, is basically quick what, play, but What's it's the not prize at the end of it? So, you get loot boxes. Right, loot boxes every, are huge. Every week, for every three games you win in the arcade, they'll give you a loot box up to three. Um, you also get experience. You can level up and things like that. Um, but they're more fun or more relaxed, different game modes yeah. than your standard objectives, mm -hmm. like we went over. And sometimes they put some in there that are um, competitive. So it's cool. It changes it up a little bit, makes you put a little more effort into it. Yeah. Um, talk about events. This is, I think, what I love about this freaking game. The events? Yeah. Okay, so they do events. You could call them... No, nah, not seasons. Okay, well, kind of seasons. Yeah, it's seasonal. So every, like, month or two, they'll come out with an event. Every year, they're about the same time, so... The first one, like we'll start with January, is the Lunar New, uh, New Year. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's like an Asian. Yeah, it's Korean, like a Chinese New Year Chinese kind of thing. Year. Okay, um, so they do a Lunar. And explain event. what comes with it. Okay, so most um, most of these events come with either a new game mode and different um, like skins that you get from loot boxes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Things. So very theme based. So like the Lunar one, you get kind of like Chinese. Mm -hmm. you know, like and a, it's not every character. So stuff. some characters get new skins a lot, some don't. Um, that's a big one as you keep going down what's the next one one didn't Luna just ended oh no it didn't ended a while ago what happened before Archives is that it no I went from actually maybe it was maybe it went from the Lunar New Year um, the next event was Archives which just ended um, that ran for about a month mm -hmm. um, Archives is when they released the co-op stories you can only do those during the Archives event so every year they have a new story mode that you can run mm -hmm. through um, with archives um, then they go into the anniversary event which mm -hmm. starts at the end of May I think because the game released in May of I think 2016. so 2016 yeah so usually it's the last week of May they'll do the anniversary which I think they get the coolest stuff the coolest skins the coolest emotes the coolest everything game modes and mm -hmm. so um, apparently they're going to release a lot of cool stuff this anniversary I think um, so I've heard so the game just keeps expanding like we talked about it's been out for three years almost now and it just keeps you coming back because there's always something new in this game. Mm -hmm. um, so after anniversary is the summer games, yeah, they call it. Um, so they release a game. The game mode for summer is called Lucio Ball, which is basically Rocket League for the character Lucio. So everybody, you get 3v3 Lucios. It's like soccer uh, for those who don't play Rocket League and you're just shooting a ginormous ball. For It's like soccer. It's a summer awesome. event. All the skins and stuff are summer themed, beach themed, things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then after that's, I don't. Do you is that, no, go ahead. Is that Halloween? Halloween is next. So Halloween, I do not get off of this game when Halloween comes out. I love it. Show I love Frankenstein. I thought Lucio Ball is your favorite. So uh, Lucio Ball is fun. I still haven't played Lucio Ball on the PC yet. So here's your basic Roadhog. Well, one of yours. This is like a special one. This came out when we went to the Overwatch Finals last year. We went live. AJ was there. Um, and then they did this one. This is one of the skins of the game. It's freaking. 
The game is just so cool during the Halloween. I just love the Halloween fest. Yeah, you can tell it's a guy. It's actually a mask. Right. It's technically called Junkenstein's Monster because Junkrat, a character we didn't get to talking about, also gets a skin, and he basically creates Roadhog. The ga- cool part about the game is him and Roadhog are buddies side by side 90% of the time, so... Yeah, so the game mode is very Frankenstein themed. You're mm-hmm. going after Junkenstein. Yeah, a lot of which night is... stuff, a lot of nighttime laps. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot they did the whole Junkenstein thing. Yeah, Junkenstein is the game mode. Right, for... I forgot about that. That was cool too. We so that's like a, that's a co-op. You and a couple people buddy up against uh, mm-hmm. like PV, not PvP, um, like computer players. Right. Junkenstein's monster. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then it's just the winter. Winter. Yeah. Winter Wonderland. Winter is another awesome one. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's basically my land, which is cool. I became a fan of it finally. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, Christmas themed yeah. Uh, skins and stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's cool. Again, the events keep you coming back. Um, a lot of different things when you go into the events. Um, so I came up with this new game, and it's gonna be a little harder for this because there's a lot of things involved in it. But I call the game Line 'Em Up. It's gonna come in on multiple episodes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over, and I'm gonna show Dylan a list of all the characters. Dylan will play music, cause that'll keep us from, keep you keep us from being bored, keep you guys interested. Um, what I want you to do, so we're gonna name our all characters in our order from favorite to most hated. All the characters, so there's about thirty of them. We'll do it within the matter of two songs. It shouldn't take us that long, I think, cause there's gonna be a lot of middles that I'm just throwing in to be honest. Um, what I want you guys to do, if you've played the game. Name your tummy top five and bottom five, or name as many characters as you want, make it as fun as you want. Um, give us a few minutes, obviously. So there's our list. You can check off on, you check off this side who you've done. I'll check off this oh, side so we know. I'm sorry, Mr. Um, Explanation while I was playing music. You gotta name them all. Favorite from fit. One is your favorite, this is your last. So these are all the characters? Those are all the characters. Oh, and I'm just listing in order of love. What you like the most. Yeah, so basically we're playing it. It's not love, hate. It's a lot, so he's gonna play some music. Go right ahead. Play some more. Give us some time. AJ, list some characters. Tropes, I think you've played the game. List some characters. Uh, I'm I'm actually gonna do the bottom first again. I'm sorry, there's 30 on there? I think so, yeah. I'm sorry, so 30 is hated. 30 is hated. And one is your favorite. See, I have so many middles. And at the end, we're going to list both of our. We're going to start at the bottom and we're going to I can name like my top 10 like, easily. Yes, yeah, so I top 10 would be something like number 2 if you like. Kev, we're naming our characters in order from most loved to most hated. Give me your top five favorite and your bottom five most hated. I uh, definitely missed a couple, but I'll... The guys in the middle are kind of the same. So... Yeah, no, exactly. So, like, draw, like, a fine line to where you draw your line. Got it. Yeah, see, so yeah, I already forgot about this guy. So I'm just putting him in the lowest spot.
Here's a cup of hot dog. <laughs> so good, Kev. I forgot you went to Brookhaven. Oh man, this is getting rough. We're getting there, we're almost done. We got like 10 minutes. I'm doing pretty good. I got four more to see when this. That's it? Yeah, I kind of messed up my order a little bit, but the mm -hmm. bottom half was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I have to get. I'm definitely, I'm going to swap some of these. Yeah, oh no, I already, I already put in. And you have times too. Top five uh, heroes in uh, in Overwatch. If you're missing one, let's see how this. Ah. <laughs> missing two. Um, who are they? Hmm. Um, Go for that on my last one. Alright, we're done. Yep, I'm going to turn around and just do it. Hope that music wasn't too loud. These two. Alright, so we're going to start with number 30. So we're going to start with our most hated heroes in the game. Who's number 30? Symmetra. She's 29 for me. I have Doomfist. Who's your 29? Doomfist. Okay, <laughs> so we're close on that. Alright. Yeah. Um, 28? Genji. Me too! Really? I wow, hate I, didn't, I wasn't expecting I that. People love to play Genji. 27? Uh, Baptiste. Yep. Really? Wow, we're pretty good. 26? Zarya. Torbjorn. Okay, he's my 25th. Okay, 25 is Hanzo for me. Okay. There's no fun in there at all for me. I just don't like playing him. I don't play him all. Uh, 24? Sombra. Really? You know, I kind of want to, like, I, I don't want to get too far into it, but, like, sometimes I feel like I owe them an explanation on why. <laughs> and actually, to be honest, Symmetra might not be my 30. She's making her way up there, but I'm going to keep really? her. I I'm going to keep her for now because up until this point, she's been my least favorite. Right. I have Lucio still at 24. I know I've been playing him more, but just not a fan. Yeah, you've never been a fan of Lucio no. for 24. I said Sombra, right? Yeah. She's moving up, though. She's moving up. 23? Wrecking Ball. I put Arissa, just because I don't play her role, but I have a Wrecking Ball at 22. Who's your 22? My 22 is Widowmaker. That's I'm, very fair. I'm not a sniper player. Yeah, like Widow is pretty low on mine. Yeah. Um, 21? Uh, Ash. I have Moira. Ash sits at 20 for me. Mm. Who's your 20? My 20 is Moira. Okay, oh, so we flipped those two. No, we flipped those also. Okay. So we're, our bottoms are pretty down I them close. around a little bit, yeah. Um, 19, I have Widow, like I said. I have May. That's fair. Okay, wow. See, I'm starting to like me a lot. Me too. That's People are working their way up, but I'm going based off, mm -hmm. you know, my three years of Overwatch experience where they've kind of sat for me because I still, you know, my top 10. No, yeah, is. absolutely. Of course. Um, 18. 18, I have Soldier 76. Okay. It's a little blow, but that's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I have Zarya. I love Zarya. Honestly, I just can't play her. I'm mm. not good with the bubbles. 17? Lucio. I have Anna. Lucio, I think, is a great character. Yeah, I got to explain. Lucio's a great character. He's kind of fun. Not my play style. I yeah, just no, never exactly. played him. He wasn't my cup of tea. It's a, yeah. But he's good. Nothing against he's, him. He's a baby. He runs around a lot. Um, 16? Reaper. I have Bastion. 
<laughs> so both of those are fair. Those are fairly relative. 15? Tracer. I have Winston. Ooh, Tracer that loud. Oh, yeah, you never played Tracer. Well, Tracer's middle of the road for me. She's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, people like her. She's like the face of the game. Yeah. But not my... Middle of the road isn't bad. Yeah. Does it have a positive of the side of the road and a bad side of the road? Exactly. Um, 14? Diva. I have Reaper. But I have Diva sitting at 13. Okay, so Reaper... Diva's a character I want to be so good with. I'm just not. I'm out of that mech way too often. She's one of the most useful characters in the game. Yeah. Same with Lucio. He's super useful, but... Yeah. In this picture. Um, 13? Roadhog. So Roadhog at 13? He's... Uh, oh, you don't play him But he's in my top half. Yeah. There's a lot know. of characters. So 13 is... 13, I had D.Va. Is better than halfway. 12? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Hog was my 12. Oh, who was your 13? Mercy. Okay, that's fair. Mercy's not a fun character to play. No. Depending on what you do. Um... 12, you said Hog. Road hog. I have Reaper. I have Maya at 12, because I switched her with Reaper. Um, I'm starting to like Maya a lot. I don't like playing Reaper, because I just... I don't know. No, nah, it's just... It's it's cool, but... Reaper I, is the character I feel There's like... So many people when you come into this really game, not. you start as Reaper, so you say, ooh, dual shotguns. Cool, a lot of kills. And then you realize like, it's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah, so. playing him is hard in this team-based yeah. comp and objective-based. Um, 11. Bastion. I have Farah. I do like Farah. So. Okay. I was hoping she'd make top 10, but I look at the rest of my list and I said I can't really change so she that. made top 15, which is yeah. half, so... 10? Reinhardt. Really? That low for you? You know, I, I really, really, really wanted to go into being a tank main. I tried, especially with the meta being 3-3, mm-hmm. three, three, Reinhardt was such a centerpiece, but it didn't really work out for me. Okay. I, you know, I found, you know, other people that I like better. I chose Sombra. I'm not good with Sombra. I want to be good with Sombra. I just overall like her character very much. Um, nine. Brigida. That low for you? Wow, yeah. I expected that to go top five. She dropped. She dropped very yeah, that's heavily. Yeah, that's true. Never when she first anymore. came out, she might have been top five. I think me. it's because you go so zen heavy now, which is good though for everybody else that we play with. I think I let the community make me think that Brig is bad. That's okay. People hate Brig. If AJ's watching, he said in episode two, Smash Bros, he had said that Brig was broken. Brig needs to be deleted from the game. Brig's finally getting a pop Funko. Did you see it? Yeah, that's no. awesome, dude. It's cool. Down no, break, break's a good character, but yeah, um, yeah, no. I threw McCree at nine. Okay. Eight. Winston. Junkrat. Okay. Cool. I agree. I like. I like your answer. Seven. McCree. That high. So, yeah. Well, I'll break I maybe even playing him. I had him at nine. Nine. Okay, so only two spots. In yeah. I've been playing him in deathmatch. I think. Cool. Um, yeah. I went Zenyatta. I just think Zenyatta overall is just freaking cool. So I went Zenyatta at seven. seven. Yeah, and I do enjoy playing him when you don't. Um, <laughs> six? Hanzo. Really? That high? You know, because I think that I've always kind of like like archer players. So okay. Hanzo's a character that shoots bows and arrows. So he's a sniper, but not, he doesn't... There's no scope. There's no like scope. He's not, he's not like Widowmaker where you're... Cool. And it's a projectile snipe. It's mm-hmm. not just a you aim, you shoot. It's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, the thought behind it. Yeah, His character oh, wow. is... It's very cool. developmental, yeah. I mm. have Brigitte at seven. At six, excuse me. I love playing her. I know I'm not that great with her. I do like to brawl around with her in small team deathmatch roles, but that's all I ever do with her, really. Um, I think we're going to agree on this one. Maybe. Five, I have Tracer. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, did you already say... You might have missed one, unless you said it earlier. Okay, so I had Ana for five. Cool. You've been playing a lot of Ana lately, and I think it's working. I have Ana at 17. Oh, okay. Because you know what my thing was? When we were, you liked her. You tried to pick her up for a while. From PlayStation. Then we went PC, and I was like, I don't want to play her anymore. Mm-hmm. Plus, I picked up on PC Zenyatta and Moira a little bit, and Brigitte. So I figured of all the healers, Ana can go to closer to the bottom of my healing pile. So. Um, four, I have Reinhardt. I have Junkrat. Cool. Go Which ahead. is a very, very new thing. When the game first came out, Junkrat was almost like a Genji to me. Uh-huh. He He's was in the ass. He, yeah. was, he was a character I didn't want to play. His, he's so unique. It just I didn't want to be bothered trying mm-hmm. to learn how to play him. Right. It's but so lately, tactical. Lately, he's been he's it's one fun. of my favorite He's a fun DPS. character to play. I realized I didn't have a lot of DPS heroes, so Junkrat just done, fell into nice. it. Yeah. Three? Orissa. Roadhog. I figured Arisa would be really? nice and Roadhog, that high? I love Roadhog, you, dude. You've been playing him a lot, but I thought it was kind of just like a because of Doyle thing. No, it, it, when I don't play with Doyle, because you know what it is, when we play things like Elimination, I try to go tank, deep damage, support. In that order? 
Usually because he'll usually take Zenyatta first sometimes. Because then I know you're going to take Farrah, so I'll take Mercy as my support role. You know, then I have a DPS to leave off with. You can always tell me if you want to play a character. I no, play them no, because I, I take that as practice to get better with... No, exactly. And that's the point, mode. is that if I play Hog, at least I know I have you behind me still. Know, it's a big I, thing I don't know how to, a lot of I don't things. know how to have fun. I know, that's okay. I'm constantly trying to get better at you know the same characters I always play. Okay. Um... Two, I have Mercy. I have Zenyatta. So I said Mercy was a boring player. Dude, I was a slaughter Mercy. Near I Mercy. would dive in. We have a man. healing duo after. So oh, Mercy's your two, Zenyatta's my two. Cool. Okay. That's our yeah, duo. Yeah, that's Lobos. Lobos. Yeah, those Lobos were the wolves. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, I just used to love. You guys used to pump me up so high as Mercy that I was like, no one is dying on my battlefield. It was That's how I used like, to feel. Sometimes you want the you want to say like, oh, have the bad people play healers because they can't kill things. Uh-huh. So that was like the, not even close to the mindset. You right. were just so good at it. Because people, like, they kind of heal because they don't want to. Right. You did it at first kind of to fill the group and then got so good I think at also it. overall with the roles we all began to play, when I went Mercy, we all gained so much faster. But it was also because of the roles everyone took. It wasn't just me, of course, like carrying our teams because a Mercy isn't going to carry But that's because we were all stubborn. I'm I was just going to keep everyone on. Trade off my number one. But that's I okay, yeah. Do it and, yeah. Um, and your number one is Farrah. I went to number one. My number one is Farrah. And my number one is Soldier 76, so I had to go with yeah, it. Um, uh, I don't have it on. No, it's in my drawer still. I forgot it. So we have a ton yeah. of merch for yeah. Overwatch. It's awesome. We you went to had the finals me. last year. Oh, sorry. Um, no, but yeah, then we went with... Uh, we found a ton of Overwatch stuff that didn't know existed. Dog tag. so dog tags. The greatest thing is Farrah logo. It's very hard um, to see, but... Yeah, really cool stuff. Um, so real quick, can you hold up the pen to them? Yes, sir. So my mom... It's an honor now, I think. Had all these pens made, guys. So I'm giving out as many pens as I can. It's got my um, my Instagram account on it. It's got my show on it. And then it has my YouTube channel on it. I also fixed my profile. So you can go right into my YouTube channel. Um, not looking for subscribers. Just I see the viewers come on. And it's freaking awesome. Um, before we go, we have to do two things. You have to do your stuff. And then we have to do um, what's coming up on Nintendo. Again, you're going to do something new and cool. So, all right, so you guys know I do a ton of stuff. First thing I have to do, I think I have like four or five things in here. So the pen is one of the things because you're always on. First thing, you won this. We did that something cool challenge. So you want to put oh, on all yeah. the movies? About Real sweet. That thing is awesome. I love watching that, to be honest. Great gifts, guys. Even um, if you don't care about the content, the Good giveaways. <laughs> I owe you from a while ago a giveaway, and I told you I was gonna get that Sora Pixel Pal. It still hasn't come, so I found this knowing you would love this. And I figured you could put it in the new office. Oh, what is so, it? This is not a um. No, dude, it's, it's just like a, a random a, stand. But show them. A, a stand? Oh, yeah. It's just like a, it's it's just like a, toy, like a Yeah, it's just like a toy to hang out with. It's a Crash Bandicoot. Gold like, Crash Bandicoot. Golden action figure. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Um, I didn't know you even owed me that. So. This is for hosting Nintendo episode 14 at your house. Not for you being on the show. You need oh, a pop welcome. toy. So here's another uh, one of these. If you go to GameStop, dude, these toys are cool. So show them this. These things started off at like 35 bucks. Now, if you go to GameStop, they're all on sale for $5. So uh, They're not even... Oh, they're the cute but deadly. Yeah, but they're oh, cool. Serious. I so actually have a Reinhardt one out above my... My, uh, that's computer. what uh, the steep one is. Yeah, exactly. So I can't. Cool it used to be like Steve thirty-five one I got. bucks, forty Cheap bucks. Deadly. Um, but found for five dollars, so I figured that's perfect. And then last but not least, I hope you laugh at this. It's kind of what our little theme has been going for a while. So years ago, you sent me a Snapchat of you in your car with a shirt and tie. And gummy worms when you had like two sticking out of your nose and like three <laughs> in your mouth and you were just looking up at your phone with this stupid face. Ever since, I just called Dylan Gummy Boy sometimes. I even paid him Venmo for my the Gummy Boy convention. This is the closest I could find. <laughs> so, oh, man. Um, it's a blue sour patch. So, as close as I could get to coming to gummies. Um, so, very cool. Thank you for being on the show Dude, again. You know that's going to be on my new computer. Right? Oh, absolutely. It's my new so, stand. Every time you call me Gummy Boy. I know. Whenever you play Overwatch, you call me Gummy Boy. I, it's so funny. So the cool thing about Overwatch we'll get into, we talked about this a lot with our Smash Bros. episode, is taunting. We just taunt the hell out of each other. Like, even our own teammates, me and him and our friends. Um, when I played Mercy, I used to say, like, hey, ugly, and he knew to look. 
Um, it was like, terrible. But coming it's cool for you, ugly. I got you, ugly. <laughs> Except for when I put Doyle. I don't know if he was talking to me. Yeah, because I eventually started calling Doyle ugly. Like, which um, one's ugly? Me or him? But it's cool. It's like you have stickers, you have emotes. Um, there's just so much to do in the game. It's so awesome. So I'm glad we finally did an episode on it. We're going to come back. We're going to do an episode on the Overwatch League. Totally different than the game. They play the game, but we're going to get into all the different aspects. It's super cool. We were at the finals last year, so I'll post a ton of pictures from that. Um, our next episode next Tuesday, because now I'm still going weekly, guys. We're not going by weekly. Um, my next episode is going to be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and 2. Bobby's going to come back on. Then I have Dan coming on for Avatar The Last Airbender, like we talked about. Thanks for the invite, Dan. I have no clue what that's about, so Dylan, you'll have to come on and comment. And then I have... We're doing the Game of Thrones finale with Richie again. It's not going to be Rich Tendo. It's going to be questions and answers. That's it. When I start a question, he knows to start giving a different answer. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're coming back next month for the first time ever. And we're, I asked Dylan, name a specific actor or actress. So we're going to do an episode solely on just Jake Gyllenhaal. I think it's a great starting point. So I'm going to go and list as many movies as I can. And we're going to come on. We're going to talk about those movies. We'll talk about his career. We'll talk about what he's doing. Especially because now he's doing the MCU, which is going to be super oh, yeah. fucking chill. Um, especially with the new trailers that they released. Especially saying that it's going to be Today? Tom it? Holland. Yesterday? Where Tom Holland talks to us. And he says, if you haven't seen any, yeah. you don't watch this. Yeah, so it's going to be cool because it's we're going to go trailer. into the multiverse with the new Spider-Man. Um... But Jake Gyllenhaal coming in as Mysterio, so that'll be a cool new thing I'm going to try to keep up with every month as an actor or actress. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, I think we're done. Anything else we got to say? Nah, man. Just Nintendo has been kicking off. Since it's you have tons dude. of stuff planned. Like you said, you started going bi-weekly. I know. I'm so now prepared. Now there's so much content. So I much. know. And it's working. And again, I think, like you said in the beginning of the first part of the episode... Guests make it so much cooler. Even for me, I think it does for everyone else because you're getting two sides of things sometimes. Um, like you saw, we did our lists here and they were different. So line them up will be a new thing. What I'm going to do come, I want to say July or August, I'm bringing a ton of people on the show, a ton of different people. So it's going to be, well, in not different, show. but doing what? In one show. Yeah. So it's going to have, I'm going to invite Dylan, Richie, and Bobby. So those are four people, including me, with a lot of different opinions. And we're going to go through the whole MCU together, Ooh. worst movie to best movie, including the Endgame. That's going to be fun. So it's going to come up, it's going to be, I think it's going to go for a couple hours. Um, everyone's going to fight their case to keep their movies alive, so it's going to be super awesome. Who's there? Oh, hi, Cam. Um, so be sure to join us then. I'm just waiting a little longer. I don't want to give any, not ready to give up anything on Endgame yet. Um, we've both seen the movie. I know Richie and Bobby have. So I'm going to find other people who have seen the entire MCU. I'm going to bring them on, too. I think it'll be super cool. I think it's going to be a bloodbath, to be honest. Yeah, cause... especially because, I mean, I just feel like we have so many differences of opinions. Like, even right. like you and I, I don't know Bobby that well. Richie, I'm just getting to know more lately. But yeah. I could tell already we have a lot of mm -hmm. similar but different opinions exactly. about things. So talking about the Marvel Universe mm -hmm. would be pretty cool. So I think what we're going to do for that episode, in all honesty, I think we're going to come in. You're going to write down your top five. And everyone's going to put those face down. And we're going to start from the bottom. Because I think the bottom is going to be easier to do than the top. Yeah. I think and it's going to be kind of like this, where the middle movies are going to be so... It's kind of like the middle. You could get, yeah. take it or leave it. You know, honestly, on the I think there's maybe two or three bad movies. Maybe four. So Now, Marvel... So it's only the, the universe? Only the universe. So not going back to Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man? No, uh, I wish. No, but I want to do episodes and things like that. That trumps everything Again, for me. Guys, DM me what you want to see on Nintendo. DM me that you want to be on Nintendo. I want you to be on Nintendo. I want to have more people, because right now I have like the rotating four, which is great. I have the four headless horsemen. Um, it's fantastic. I love having them on. They give you the best content. I have a specialist for every freaking thing in the four guys I have, so it's perfect as it is. But it can be a little bit more different. We can mix it up. I mean, you haven't been on for three months. It's insane that I haven't had you on, but uh -huh. I did my own thing for a while. And then we're back in business, guys. So thank you so much for coming on tonight. Um, thank you again for everything. I hope you like everything you got. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for hosting. We will see you next month for the episode with Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, other than that, guys, that's it. We're done on Nintendo. So that's a wrap on 14. Keep it coming. 14 down, 1,000 to go. Right, guys, play Overwatch.